Hey everybody. If you happen to run a YouTube channel with many different kinds of videos, at one point you may have run into a content ID match like this one here. This little situation I have going on right now on CubeComp Empty DX, a video I posted back in late 2015. It's a walking tour of the McCaddenville, North Carolina Christmas lights. It's me and a church group walking up Main Street in McCaddenville looking at the Christmas lights. And at 27.05 in the video it claims that uh, we have a match with Hark the Herald Angels Sing Claimants uh, Universal Music Group. So the thing about Content ID is it's notorious for for not considering fair use or in some cases just flat out claiming something that clearly cannot be uh, copyrighted. For example, there have been instances where Constant ID would claim bird song or heck even just white noise. Uh, yeah. There's a video right now on YouTube that was uploaded I think by a professor. Um, it's just white noise. And when he first uploaded, it had no less than five different claims on it, which supposedly he was able to dispute and win, but more just keep piling up. I mean, I'll check this video occasionally, and it's like one you know one time I check it, there's no claims, and next time I check it, there'll be another claim because some of these um, composers think they can own copyright to white noise which is absolutely ludicrous. So anyways, uh, on the topic of Hark the Herald Angels Sing, the original was released in the 1700s. <laughs> and the original obviously is in the public domain. But of course there over the years there have been some performances of this song by different artists. And yeah, I think they can claim the right shows and, and have you know own the copyright to them. But with YouTube's Content ID system, it can consider a whole different um, composition of this song to be that song and try to claim the rights to it. So if you look on YouTube, you'll see rants, you'll see rant videos about uh, people having fits over, you say, given rights owner claiming to have rights to their video. And let's say it's, I don't know, for example, a, a common <clears throat> occurrence of this would be, let's say, if I license music from, let's say, um, a royalty-free track, and let's say somebody else also licenses that same royalty-free track and then makes it into their own composition and then puts his own content ID, content ID would then consider any and all versions of that, including the original um, royalty-free version, to be the uh, the right owner's song and I've seen people just have an absolute fit over of written you know and I don't blame them but the thing is the content ID system is automated it's not actually it's not let's just say that the the person is not actually going out and claiming rights to every video out there it's just content ID has been known to do stuff like this um, so anyways back to this so, this here, the original, it obviously is in the public domain. And in the video, which I'll link in the description, remind me to do so if I don't, um, you feel free to watch it. It's the uh, recording claims to be from 2705 to 2749. And after digging and digging and digging, looking on YouTube, I did find, finally find, the, the music that I claimed it is actually a match but you know you have to consider walking up Main Street kids yelling everywhere it's not like I uh, put this track in the background music in the audio it's it was kinda out of my control I'm just walking up Main Street looking at the Christmas lights um, yeah that's definitely not going to harm the original work I must say <laughs> um, so the the, the um, the policy that was applied was to share revenue. It wasn't, they weren't stealing all of the revenue from the video, but stealing even half the revenue from the video is ridiculous because this is a 35 minute video 
that <clears throat> you can hear this music playing from you know just 27 minutes and yeah not even just barely even 40 seconds of of hearing it play in the background and of course kids yelling over it it's not like it is a dupe it's, it's not like it's a full duplicate of this here now if I took this whole thing and place it in the background of this video to where it was well audible yeah I could definitely I could definitely see this being a valid claim, but um, when it's a 35 minute video and the music that just happens to be playing on a loudspeaker as I'm walking up Main Street for roughly 40 seconds of the video, I think that's a bit ridiculous. So yeah, I did follow the speed on it. Um, I'm not sure how it's going to turn out. Given UMG, they like to... Um, they they like to say the heck with fair use and just uh yeah you get the idea but that brings up another thing is like when a composer redoes makes their own version of something that's in the public domain i think there's a bit of a gray area on what you can and can't claim as far as owning copyright to see the reason why i say that a uh, reproduction of something that's in the public domain can fall into a gray area as far as claiming copyright is you know this isn't like um, something from let's say Dan and Shay like 19 You and Me which is a pretty unique um, track that was you know written by you know, written by a composer and of course you get the idea uh, this is something that was a redo of something that's in the public domain so, now get this, get this, guys. Um, here's another, here's another version of Heart to Herald Angels Sing. <laughs> I want you to see this. This is how ridiculous uh, content ID claims can get. Now, I've expanded the description. I want you to look at the, uh, the, the music in this video section here. Heart to Herald Angels Sing. Artist Choir of Kings Ch King College, Cambridge, Philip Jones Brass Ensemble. Well, okay. License to War Music Group on behalf of PLG UK Classics, comma, Warner Chapel. No, sorry, yeah. Warner Chapel. <laughs> get this. Public Domain Compositions. Now, if it's in the public domain, you can't claim the rights to it. So, this is, this is, this is. Ridiculous! Public domain compositions. You can't license, or you can't claim ownership of something that's in the public domain. Now, of course, yeah, if you redo it, then yeah, you can, but it's still kind of a gray area. And as far as content ID goes, um, it's subject to claim anything and everything using the same lyrics at the same pitch at the same speed. <laughs> I mean, if it can claim, if it can claim bird song as matching music, then there's no telling what it can do. So, yeah, this is this is absolutely ridiculous, I must say. See, it's been a while since I've run into an issue with content ID. I do sometimes run into those, run into it with uh, some Cube Comp MTX videos like this one, where I'm doing a tour of something, for example. In this case, the McCaddenville Christmas lights. You know, there is music playing in the background, but, you know, I'm thinking to myself, shouldn't be any problem because, I, uh, you know, wouldn't most of these older, um, wouldn't most Christmas music be in the public domain? Now, of course, that's not actually true, but it's like, come on, seriously? So, yeah. <laughs> this is, this is why I think Content ID really fails it. Um, and also some of these, uh, rights holders. As mentioned, this this thing, you know, Tennessee Ernie Ford is just redoing, is just composing his own take of Heart to Herald Angels Sing, something that's been out since the 1700s. Um, yeah. Um, and also, again, the fact that it plays, that the, the match claims to be from 27 minutes and 5 seconds to 27 minutes and 49 seconds. Again, it's playing in the background on a loudspeaker, with noise, with 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 kids yelling and cars driving by, people you know, people shouting "Merry Christmas" and stuff like that. 
this will definitely easily be fair use. Um, matter of fact, it's, it's it's ridiculous that they could even claim this at all. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah. What do you guys think about that? Feel free, feel free to let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Well, guys, that's it for this one. But it doesn't have to be. There's plenty more videos on the channel to check out. Also, if you liked the video, please click the like button. And if you absolutely hated it, there is the alternative button as well. But yeah, please subscribe to the channel. I definitely appreciate it. And remember to click the bell so that we get notified of all updates. Also, if you're interested in things aside from computers and technology, check out my second channel. It's CubeCompMTDX. Over there you'll find videos about weather, elevators, bicycling, and pretty much whatever else I figure out to upload. So yeah, anyways... Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you for your support.